Well, I just can't catch a break with these tires. So as you guys know, there was, you can see it right there, a stick went right through the sidewall somehow. I have no idea. So there was already a hole in this back right tire. And previously when I had about 5,000 miles on my Y, I got another hole in this tire was destroyed and they had to replace it. So now there's currently a hole on the inner wall, but it's a slow leak. I only have to fill it up about uh, once every two weeks. Uh, and then now just about an hour ago, this stick, a piece of wood, went right through the sidewall. The tire is now destroyed. You can't repair anything through the sidewall. Normally to repair a tire, you have to be within these shoulders here and then they can do a repair, no problem, just a little patchwork. But anything out like this is unrepairable and you have to replace the tire. So I'm gonna be calling and getting the tire replaced. Probably just gonna use NTB. Normally I'd go to somewhere like Discount Tire, but uh, unfortunately I'm, I'm on the East Coast. So gotta get that repaired. I'm again using this avid power compressor this has been amazing it folds up nicely in the car I'll show you how it works real quick i'll have this link down in the description but you just hit this trigger here and you can even set the psi so currently it's reading 16 on the car i can set it to whatever you click trigger, and it gets it all pumped up but yeah so very unfortunate situation just keeps uh you just keep getting screwed on this back right tire. It's weird that it keeps, it's the back right too. Like all the other tires, no issues. This is the third hole and this is the final hole now for this tire. I'm gonna have to get it replaced so I can head back across the country. Unfortunately, this is a normal routine. Tires being delivered at the door because I just keep blowing them out. Just can't help myself blowing out tires in the Tesla. But that's okay. It's good content, right? I think that's what I'm supposed to say. Hate to admit this, but I've actually gotten a ton of use out of this little compressor. I'll have it linked down in the description, but basically it plugs in right here. And uh, this is what we're gonna use to pump this tire up. So hopefully I can make it three miles to the tire shop to put the new tire on. But there's the stick. Just unbelievable, the luck I've had with this back right wheel. Okay, so far we're doing all right. We've lost two PSI since my journey has begun. Ugh, I just need to make it another mile and a half and we are home free. Um, the one difference with the tire that I got is this tire doesn't have the foam inside of it to reduce noise. I don't know how much of a difference it makes. I'm sure it makes some type of difference. The crazy thing is uh, this tire cost me like 182 or something like that. The foam tire is another $100. It's like 280 as opposed to 180. So it's kind of crazy that it costs that much more just for, it's literally just foam glued to the inside of the tire. Uh, so it's, it's, it's interesting. So we'll see how much louder this back right rear tire is. When I get back to Phoenix, I may end up all new tires on the whole car um, and then pull this one off and save it just as a backup. But uh, yeah. Doing okay so far, just dropped to 28 PSI. I just need to make it to NTB. I took my car down to National Tits and Boobs and they put that tire right on there. <clears throat> Live update, NTB won't lift the car because they don't have the pucks. The pucks are the mounting, or what clicks into the mounting point on Teslas, uh, so you don't puncture the battery or any of the lines. So they said I should supply the pucks. I'm like, Tesla doesn't even sell the pucks. So uh, I'm walking to Pep Boys. Hopefully Pep Boys can help me out. If not, I'm returning this piece of garbage car and buying, I'm gonna buy a Hummer just to go in the exact opposite direction. So the foam I was talking about earlier, usually it goes right in here and it goes from about here to here. So it doesn't quite cover the entire inside of the tire, it just, just part of it. All right, folks, so here's the look of the inside of the tire. This is the foam I'm talking about. So it's all like, it's on there pretty good. I mean, it, well, the middle's like open and then the edges are really glued down or something. So that's the foam that's on the inside of these tires and that's what the tire I just put on does not have. Folks, it was another successful run to Pep Boys in Greensburg. Um, I've always come here. They've always been great to me, helping me out, good with pricing. They did a perfect job mounting the car and being extremely careful 
with the mounting points on the car because I didn't have the pucks. So I was able to see it with my own eyes. Uh, Danielle, the manager here, was extremely nice. She took care of me. If you're in Greensburg and you're stranded with your Tesla, or if you have any car, this is the place. I always used to get my Civic Si oil changes here and whatever I needed done, I got done here. And that was 10 years ago. So the fact that they are still, the customer service here is just great. They're just nice people. I was over at MTV and the guy said, the guy said, if we mount that thing, we we're gonna kill everyone in the shop. I'm not even exaggerating. He's like, he's like, look, I mount that thing, kill everyone in the shop. I'm not touching it. I was like, dude, I set the appointment. I was like, why'd you take the appointment if you're gonna kill everyone in the shop? But anyways, Pep Boys in Greensburg, awesome. The tire is back on. We're ready to go back across the country. I can't thank them enough. I will leave them a Google review. Okay, wheels are all cleaned up, looking good. I just need to put tire shine on them. But uh, yeah, they look absolutely perfect. And then here's, here's some good consumer advice for you. If you're getting a Tesla and it's coming in, you're not sure about tires, uh, here is a brand new tire. Here's the tread pattern, um, and you can see all that detail there. So now we're gonna move over to this tire, which has 25,000 miles on it. And you can see it's much more worn, especially on the inside of the tire here. So the outside still looks decent, uh, but the inside is definitely worn down more than the outside. Now I will say, I think part of the reason for that inside wearing down a little more as of lately is due to the suspension, which is lowered a quarter of an inch in the back. It actually looks even lower in the back than just a quarter of an inch but it has a little bit of negative camber to it, which is gonna wear the inside of the tires a little bit more. Something else to note, I'm pretty sure I never got these tires rotated. I don't remember when I took it in initially if they actually rotated them, but in 25,000 miles, I never rotated it. They recommend you rotate your tires every 6,250 miles. So I recommend sticking to that schedule. I should have done that, but I didn't. And I'm gonna probably replace this tire once I get back to Phoenix. That way the two rears are good. Uh, the front tires are still fine. The front tires still have good good tread life on them. Um, even though the car is all wheel drive, a lot of the bias goes toward the back when you floor it or something like that. Very hard not to do in these cars. Um, if you wanna save your tires on these cars, drive them in chill mode. That will help you out a lot. But we're back in action. We're good to take the trip back across the country. Just a uh, little hiccup. Well, this video just jumped from Pennsylvania to Arizona, but that's how it goes. Uh, yeah, so I ordered another tire for the rear of the Tesla. Uh, so this tire right here, brand new, well actually 2,000 miles on it, drove it across the country. This tire over here, 28,000 miles on it, and you can see it's kind of worn. And then also because of the negative camber, it's a little more worn on the inside. So my plan right now is to put this tire on the back that way the rears are equal the fronts are still in good shape and then this tire here i'm just going to keep it home in case i blow another tire and need one for a little bit yes yeah, so this being the second tire i've had to replace on the well i had to replace two tires in the car because of flats um and then i'm just gonna make them equal in the back so that's my plan right now with this Hope that's been helpful to you guys. Again, to me, this has more been bad luck more than anything. I don't think, they are low profile tires, as you can see here, they're pretty low, but it's not like, it's, it's just been bad luck that I've had. This always happens to me uh, with tires. So I'm just getting them replaced, can have them equal in the back, equal in the front, and then we'll be good to go. Folks, that's the end of this video. I can only talk about blowing tires out in my Tesla for so long. So we'll end it here. Uh, the next video is going to be either the road trip or me and a Porsche Taycan. I'm not sure I have to edit. Thank you all for watching. Please like the video if you haven't already. See you on Sunday.